Anavanyata mother. Anavanyata. Anavanyata means blame free. Uh, people who are very much perfectionists. Have you seen such people? Very perfectionists. When they are going to do something, they are very meticulous about each detail. Right? Very meticulous about the details. Sometimes they are not having common sense as well. Uh, we have a story in Sri Lanka. Uh, there was a teacher who said to his uh, students, when something happens, you must consult this book. Don't do anything without consulting the book. Okay. That is his main advice to his students. So one day teacher and the students, ten, I think 10 students, they were going on a footbridge and teacher fell to the river. <laughs> so then there was a one very brave guy, brave student, who was very dead, wants to rescue the teacher. Say, hey, don't do that. The book. <laughs> Turn the page. And then uh, they were trying to find out a place in the book. How to rescue the teacher when the teacher is fallen the river or maybe uh, stream? They couldn't find. The teacher passed away. <laughs> so everything doesn't come from the sutta text books. So we have to use our common sense too in our life. So sometimes, as a part of this conversation, it is more to the perfectionism. There are people who want to be perfect. I met a lot of people in many uh, programs. In their household, there are a lot of issues going on because someone is trying to be perfect. You can't do this in this house. You have to put this way. A lot of rules are going on. Actually, they are not very important things too sometimes. Yes, we are supposed to become, you know, in a way. But there are certain things that when you impose on your loved ones, even on yourself, life will become very hard to you. Say, for instance, someone thinks, uh, if I don't do my puja at a certain time uh, in the morning, my day is not going to be okay. For some reasons, you oversleep and the puja time passes. And then now, 10 a.m., you oversleep. You think, ah, today I think something will happen. So, you don't have to think that. Humans, they might oversleep. Why don't we accept that? So we don't have to keep this perfectionist mentality because we are perfectly imperfect. That is how the truth works. We are perfectly imperfect. So we understand life better, more and more. Then we are doing things better every day. That should be the way how we look at our life. But there may be some people who are always doing things very meticulously, very, very carefully, a lot of stress. They have lots of depression, stress going on because of that. Too much into technicality. Then because of that, because not many people are doing as such, they may get a certain reputation. Ah, this person is doing things so carefully, so meticulously. Because of that small credit reputation, someone might be intoxicated. It is called Anavanya. See, not many people blame me. I see you guys every day, whenever you do something, other people blame you, criticize you. Right? Who is not criticized in this world? I will tell you a story. There was a Upasaka layperson like you called Atula, A T U L A, Atula. Uh, he was Upasaka to the Buddha. One day he went to the temple. And when he went to the temple, he approached certain monks to ask to give a talk, Dhamma talk. So he uh, approached uh, one monk, hopefully Bhante Kumara Kasapa, and asked him to give a Dhamma talk. So he gave a Dhamma talk, an Arahant, the Upasaka was not happy. Then he approached uh, Bhante Ananda, he gave a very long Dhamma talk. And then he was not happy either. Then he approached Arahan Sariputta. He gave a very deep Dhamma talk. He was not happy as well. Then he approached the Buddha. 
then he the buddha gave a dhamma talk it was very good for him because when the buddha was giving a dhamma talk he looks at the person's intentions first he does not simply give a dhamma talk he under, he try to understand what could be in this person's mindset now this happens to us also we are thinking to give a dhamma talk in a place when we go to the dhamma talk when i see the crowd ah have to change the dhamma talk <laughs> this is not going to work for these people it has to be done otherwise it, there is no interest for that so then uh, the buddha said to atula everyone is natti loke aninditu everyone is blame if everyone is blame at a certain point what we have to develop is not to become not to become blame not to become not blame but to understand how does the blame works to accept the blame of other people what is the immediate thing that will happen to you when someone blames you why do you blame me you should not blame me so if someone blames you don't worry just listen to what's happening if it is not your fault just be calm and respond to that person in the in the proper way but if you are going to react to that person in the same way you are going to create a mess again so anavanya atamade is you might be a perfectionist and because of you are perfectionist and you might carry a lot of stress other people might respect you and you may be intoxicated in fact it's a uh, form of apostasy